Hi everyone, and welcome to day 32 of Vlogoween. If you watched my vlog yesterday, you know that I recreated this like bootleg music festival in my apartment for a day. I didn't have a chance to actually film myself getting ready in my jellyfish costume yesterday, so I thought that I would record that right now. If you would like to know how I made the various parts of my costume, I recorded that earlier this week and I will link that video below. Um, and today I wanted to just show you how I put the whole ensemble together so that you can actually see what my full costume looks like. I was trying to think of what would be a good makeup look to go with a jellyfish theme and what I settled on was this kind of holographic, like super shiny look. I thought that something that was really shiny and holographic could pop behind the tool of my jellyfish costume. So that's what I'll be showing you today. Before I get started, I do need to add this disclaimer that some of the products that I'm gonna be using while I'm getting ready were sent to me for product review, but this is not an ad. I'm not being paid to like hype up any of these things. Um, they're essentially just things that companies will send me and if I like them, then I can recommend them to others. Um, if you watched my video from last year getting ready, you'll notice that all of the things I used that were sent to me for product review were like, I just was like, they're fine. So I don't film videos about that because uh, it would just be me going like, I tried this thing. It's fine. <laughs> you know, like that doesn't make for a very interesting video. Okay, so with that disclaimer out of the way, let's go ahead and get started. I have already washed my face and the next thing that I'm going to do is moisturize the crap out of it because it's winter time and our skin always needs more moisture than we think it does. That's my hot winter skincare tip. Use more moisturizer than you think you need to. I'm using the Belief Aqua Balm Hydrating Toner. Um, this is something that was sent to me for product review. This was signed a couple of months ago, um, and I've been using it ever since. I didn't really use it very much in the summer months, because uh, it is extremely hydrating and I didn't feel like I needed it as much, but I have been using this much of it so far, and I really like it. Um, I will say that this is different from most toners, because most toners will have some exfoliating aspect to it, and this one doesn't. This has hyaluronic acid, which is really great for hydrating your skin. Um, so if you're looking for a good toner for winter time and don't mind the not exfoliating portion, then I would recommend this one. And I'm also going to use um, the Origins Original Skin Essence Lotion. Um, I bought this myself. This was not sent to me for product review. Um, I really like this one because it's really moisturizing and it absorbs really quickly into the skin. It's not going to leave anything too heavy underneath makeup. Um, and having this toner and this essence lotion, I find, helps my makeup um, sit better. It doesn't feel greasy or it doesn't like melt off my face, if that makes sense. Face is hydrated, let's go ahead and get our foundation on. First I'm going to use um, this Naked Skin Beauty Balm. This has SPF 20 in it already and um, I've been using this for years. I really, really like it. This isn't a foundation foundation. I would say this is closer to maybe like a BB cream or a CC cream, but I've been using it for years and I love it. And then for a setting powder, I'm using this Smashbox Halo Fresh Perfecting Powder. This was a product that was sent to me for product review. I think it's fine. <laughs> um, I would compare this to the Bare Minerals Foundation, which I already have. Uh, it's not better or worse than the quality of the Bare Minerals Foundation, but this one is more expensive, so uh, I don't know why I would repurchase this over just getting the Bare Minerals Foundation if it feels exactly the same on my skin. The thing about this foundation was actually interesting because this was a cult favorite for a lot of people. Sorry, let me clean this up a little bit. This used to be a cult favorite for a lot of people. When I was sent this, a lot of people were like really excited about it and they were like, wow, like look at this packaging. You can like click to release more powder and I'm like, I guess that's cool, but like it's just powder. Um, and then the reviews for this were actually people who had been using this for very many years were really disappointed because they felt like the quality of the product had decreased. So if you have an older batch, maybe it's better than the Bare Minerals Foundation, but apparently the newer batch that they released, when did I get this? I got this sometime this summer too. Um, if you have something that's older than the summer, it might be better than the one that I'm using, but 
that's the batch that I have and I think it's fine. <laughs> now let's go ahead and move on to the eyes. For my eyes, I'm going to first use a primer. This is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. Uh, well loved by very many people and I am one of a long list of people who would highly recommend this product. Okay, so now let's go ahead and put on some eyeshadow. I'm going to be using the Naked 2 palette for all of my colors today. It's got a lot of bronzy and shimmery colors on it, so that's why I'm going to be using it. I'm going to start with the color Chopper. I'm going to coat my entire lid in Chopper and use that as a base and blend other colors around it to create some depth. Depth like the ocean from which my jellyfish self came. Um, I'm going to use the color Suspect and add it here by my crease. I'm going to use the color YDK for the outer corner of my eyes. Okay, and I'm going to use a smaller brush to use the color Busted and create a mm, kind of like a smudgy line where the eyeliner is going to go to create a smudge. I smudgy, smudgy, smudgy. Okay. Um, and then now I'm going to take the color Half Baked. I guess I know like your inner crease. Um, I'm just trying to balance it a little bit. I'm going to be using shimmer right around here and right around here. So I want it to have a an opposite, if that makes sense. And because I have a darker color on the outside crease, I'm also going to dot the inside part here with a darker color. I'm going to be using the Palladio Felt Tip Eyeliner Pen. I feel like Palladio is not a super famous brand when it comes to eyeliner, but every time I've used their products, I've really loved them. They're very pigmented. They don't uh, show up like gray or streaky at all. Um, yeah, so I would recommend it. I really like it. Now I'm going to curl my lashes and put on some mascara. I usually rub the bottom of my eyelash curler to warm it up a little bit. For my mascara today, I'm going to be using Benefit's Roller Lash Mascara. Um, I've been using this for a few years now, but the thing that I really like about it is actually the brush. Um, another hot tip about makeup, especially around mascara, most mascara formulas have the same ingredients. But what makes some mascara better than others, and I say better just because they each kind of do a different thing, right? But it's really the like brush that you're purchasing. So if there's a mascara that you really, really like, but if it happens to be really expensive, something you can do is just save the brush because that brush with any formula is going to do mostly the same thing on your face. We'll let that dry for a second on my face. For my lips today, since I'm going for a holographic look, I think the lips are gonna be the thing that stand out the most. So I'm going to layer two things in order to create like a shiny, glittery, glimmery lip color. For my base, I'm going to be using the Becca Hydrolite Lip Balm. I think it's a lip balm, or it could be a lip stain, or a lip tint, I don't know. This was sent to me for product review. Um, I like it, however, it doesn't have SPF, so I'm not going to be repurchasing it because I want SPF on things that I'm using. I was able to find a Japanese lip tint that did have SPF in it, so why would I use something that doesn't have SPF if I could use something that does have SPF? This is in the color Dew. And it's a light plum color. But yeah, so this one has like a nice little plum base. And then what I'm going to layer it with is actually a lip gloss that one of my students made for me. So these were a gift that she made for me because I guess I complained a lot about how lip gloss, like shimmery lip gloss, just didn't have enough shimmer in it. So she's like, Merry Christmas, Miss Sing. I made you some lip gloss. These two I use more frequently. This one is like, I don't know if you can see it. It's like gold. Here, let me actually show you how much glitter is in this. Like, look at that. It's like a little disco ball that's just coming out. I'm 
also going to put on some highlighter. And I'll be using the Fenty Beauty Highlighter in the color Blonde. Um, I usually just do like one swipe on my nose and then lightly add it around my cheekbones. I'm gonna put a little bit more on my nose. I have a light pink shimmer and a silver shimmer. These are both from Ulta. And I'm gonna just kind of pad them on top of the highlighter. So I do this around. Okay, so that's generally what my face is gonna look like. Let me go ahead and put on the actual costume part of my costume so I can show you the final version. Now, when I usually show you my costume, um, I try and show it to you in the actual setting of the character I'm dressing up as. For example, when I dressed up as Katya, I went to an actual marina where there were ships so I could look like a sailor. And since I'm not going to endanger anybody, I got some green felt and I'm gonna play with a green screen. This is a little bit too long, but it's okay. I like kind of holding it and my hat and my little tendrils and tentacles and... And before I end this video, I also wanna thank you not just for watching this video, but for following along with me for Vlogween, whether you just watched one video or whether you kept up with me for any part of the month. I had set up to daily vlog because I felt very frustrated because I couldn't really find enough to be grateful about. I was just feeling tired a lot and I was feeling sad a lot. But daily vlogging every day was a really great exercise in me. Sorry, I need to adjust this head. It does wobble a little bit. Um, but daily vlogging was a great way for me to really take the time every day and figure out what is something positive in my life that I can share with others and what is something really like special that I get to experience that I can then share with other people from all over the world. So whether you watch just one video or whether you kept up with me for the whole month, I really want to thank you for joining me on this journey. I do feel like I accomplished what I was trying to accomplish with Vlogoween, which is just feeling a little bit more grounded, feeling a little bit more grateful, making some Halloween fun, and um, going into this winter season with a better outlook than I would have if I had just kind of kept in the same cycle of, I don't know, just feeling like I was in a rut. So I feel a lot better. I hope you had a great Halloween no matter what you did to celebrate. I hope you didn't go to any big parties. I hope that you are safe. I hope that you are healthy. I wanna sincerely just thank you again for watching. I hope you're having a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye.